Alright guys, welcome back to our Machao Let's Play. So, in the last video, I'm sure you guys saw, we're getting ready to head north. So that's going to be the big, uh, that's going to be the big move moving forward. You know, I was really thinking maybe I should head south and fight Liu Biao, but we're going to go for the old, uh, Surprise attack surprise march although considering how long it's gonna take to get up there. It's shouldn't be a surprise, but We'll see um, But before I get started uh, if you guys aren't following me already if you're not subscribed already to uh, The channel make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you drop a like um, And one other thing I wanted to say was you know uh, keep an eye out for our Romance 13. I'm gonna be kicking that off pretty soon. I was gonna do it completely blind, but then I was like, you know, I don't want to spend too much time in the menus and uh, bogging everything down, you know? So I jumped in for a bit just to kind of tool around to see how the basic interface works, and it's very different from uh, Romance 14 from this one. Like, it's, it's very different. So I spent a little bit of time uh, this week just getting a little bit familiar with it, so I wouldn't be totally lost But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Like I said, it's gonna be Yuan Chu and the year 190 You know anti Dong Zhuo Anti Dong Zhuo coalition Okay, so this turn I, I forgot that my child's over here perfect, so I'm gonna show how to use how to command adjundance uh, I'm really quick because uh, I got a comment a few videos back uh, from somebody who was having a hard time with how to use them so are we about to take Runa? yeah we are gonna take Runa okay so Machao will be the perfect person okay so right from the beginning L1 per square you're gonna tab over to your adjundance here your two However many you have, it depends on the size of your force. You only have one to start, you know, and then you'll get more as you rank up. Now, the thing is, you have to pause it. You have to pause the turn while it's advancing in real time, right? And, you know, Machao right now, his meter is not full. So once the circle fills up, then it'll be, I'll be able to use a tactic. So... We're going to advance time a little bit, and you'll see it go up based on morale. The higher your morale, the faster it fills up. Nice, we got Runan. I really had to take Runan, like, very soon, because I have, like... I want to say... A surplus of at least 15 officers kind of sitting around. Right now. So I really needed one more city. Community ties. Number of these required search, employ... Okay, that's great. That's a great. That's a great bonus. Anything that speeds things up is great. Transport is great, and that's amazing. Molly Yang, wow. White brows. One of the famous mob brothers. I think there was a total of five of them in the novel. Uh, for some reason, I think in the game they only mentioned two of him, Molly Yang, and then his his other brother Ma Su. But he was known as White Brows because of his eyebrows, which you can see are white, even from a young age. For some reason, supposedly he had white eyebrows. And of course his stats are amazing. Okay, I don't think he'll join us, but... Maybe with some time. Okay, yeah, so... Perfect. So I'm waiting for the... for Machao's meter to fill up. Almost there, I can speed it up a bit. Almost. Okay, as soon as it's full, then you're gonna see the names come up of the tactics that you've selected. And then, so you're gonna go back. You're gonna hit L1 square. See, at this point, you can choose who you're gonna give an order to right here. Right now, Machao's the one who's who can use a tactic. So his, his names have lit up, you can see it there. So you're gonna press X. This is on PlayStation. You're gonna press X. 
and now it's going to highlight which tactic you want to use. Now sometimes this will be turned on. This little arrow here, it says if turned on, tactics will automatically activate. This lets the computer use the, its tactics as soon as they're available for you. Which I never have on because it's counterproductive, right? It's like, why would I put my guys in a jundit because I want to have direct control over his tactics and then turn on this to have the computer use them. It's it's weird. I can only assume that you'd use it if you have a ton of armies and you just can't be bothered. But if you can't be bothered, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of a domino effect. It's like, if you can't be bothered, why are you still playing at that point? You know? So anyway, you have your tactics that you've chosen. Only the ones that apply. So if I have a tactic that's like I don't know uh, a range tactic or something and it's but it's not anti-base so let's say I have a uh, restraint I don't know off the top of my head I've ever, I have restraint and I'm targeting the city it might not I don't think it works against the city so I wouldn't be able to use it so only the ones that apply are going to be highlighted so they're not always going to be highlighted where you can pick them so I'm going to choose radiant thrust because that's his most insanely overpowered tactic right and now it's going to tell me, after I choose that, it says, please select the target. So now I'm going to choose who I want to attack. Now this part is kind of important. You don't, a lot of tactics have uh, AOE. So they have an area of effect. So you're going to want to go over, and before you press X, it'll show you the effect. So you can see here, if I zoom in, that highlighted area, it's going to hit all, any units that are in this area. So for example, for my child specifically and a lot of other guys, these tactics are usually super, super busted because they just wipe out whole armies, you know? And I think they only, it just deals straight damage. I don't even know if they check the stats of all the enemy units that you're hitting with that AOE. Might just be the one you're targeting, if that. Anyway, so it, show, it tells you right there, damage is going to be applied and you're going to apply this order. So this is please select, so I'm going to press X. Let me zoom back out. Now the reason, now to check to see if you've done it correctly, you see where Radiant Thrust is right here? After I move off of it, now it's gonna be colored in, the white background. So that's how I know that I've chosen it and I've already done it. All I have to do now at this point is back out, hit circle, right? Go back to the map where I can move around. So I'm out of the agenda window and I'm gonna advance time and as soon as I advance time my child will do his tactic so it should go off so again you know square choose who I'm gonna use if the tactic is applicable like if you can use it it'll be choosable when his meters full you choose radiant thrust choose that it's gonna say who do you want to target target uh, go high pretty sure I'm butchering his name and now it's going to be colored in. See, charge is not colored in. Shout isn't colored in. Radiant thrust is colored in because I clicked on it. Now to get back out of this window, without bungling the whole thing, I'm going to hit circle again and circle again. And now I'm out of the window. And to get back in the window, it's L1 plus square. It says it up there. So it's already chosen. He's going to target him. So he's going to hit him. And once I once I hit resume progress, it'll go off. And there's the damage, and there's the tactic. So that's how you do, you know, you set off your tactics with the Jundit. Once you do it a few times, it becomes kind of second nature. That doesn't mean that you can't uh, screw it up once in a while, because I screw it up once in a while, all the time. So. Kind of like a... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Anchorman, but you know when he's got that, uh, the one who likes the cologne, he's like 99, what does he say? 50% of the time it works all the time, so. Some of the time I screw up the tactics, all the time. <laughs> Something like that. Oh great, he's got Outlander units, of course it does. Well, that little demonstration is going to cost me. Let me try fix. Let me start fixing this camp. Maybe Su Huang can get there in time. We get Zhao Yun over there. Ok, 
Okay, what's this guy do? Oh, he's just gonna retake his course. So, yeah, the plan is we're gonna deploy here. I'm waiting for uh, two more officers to arrive. Liao Hua and Tian Yu. We're gonna send five up there. I'm gonna let this guy live because as soon as I take this city, this guy, Liu Biao, who stayed out of the war, and if you guys look at his troop count, look at that. 350k. 260k troops. So he's pretty much been untouched in this whole playthrough. So he's got just stacks upon stacks of soldiers. This is insane, dude. Look at that. 70,000, 70,000. I mean, it'll be fun to charge through later on, but right now I don't want this, the added strain of dealing with him, so. We're gonna let Zheng Xu live because he's allied with him. Okay, so let's call. Who do we have? Runan's a pretty small city, so I'm actually not gonna need too many people. Let's see, how many is that? Six? That's probably. That's probably gonna be enough. Okay, so let's see, sanction, what do we have? Conquering Yu province and death of Sunsei, of course. Okay, well, let's try strange. I got a super amazing revelation um, that a strange actually works on prisoners that it's way more effective and it is way more effective so let's at least try to get Ma Liang's loyalty down and um, maybe uh, Jian Quinn. There's no way that this. Oh, well, okay. I spoke too soon. I forgot this. That that guy was my advisor for the longest time. I already forgot about that because he was so ineffective. It's weird, man. Some some advisors will have like 70 loyalty. I mean, 70 loyalty, 70 intelligence, and. They'll be really effective. And then sometimes you'll have other guys and they'll just be like, you know, 90. And they'll be wrong all the time. But I guess that's any game with RNG. It's gonna, it's gonna happen like that. That's a lot of gold. We'll just do banquets. Fuse, that's a waste. Uh, barracks, let's do that. At this point, I've been building up barracks in in Siliang territory for years. Years upon years now, so. But unfortunately, since my officers were all like improvised, since I had like so few officers and everything, it it really doesn't show too much. Otherwise, I'd be running away with the game right now. You know, I'd be drafting like a ton of troops every, every, every couple months. I just have waves and waves of soldiers, but because my chow has so few troops, I'm a little bit behind on the ball. But I think like two more years of game time, and it'll be really apparent. Ooh, he stood in front of the camp. Okay, that works for me. Scheme failed, wow. After doing all that talking about how buffed it was. 
Of course. RNG, man. I'm telling you. Alright, let's have uh Now would be a fun time to just trigger the death of Sensei. <laughs> just have him just have him bite the dust right now. Five thousand wiped out. Dealt with, boom. Okay, so we're really fighting two kingdoms. We're gonna expand east into Sunsei's eastern holdings in the central plains. And like I said, we're gonna launch this invasion up north into Yuan Tan's northern province up there, which we should have the supplies. So I shouldn't, it should go well. Oh, I forgot that I called uh, Zhang Yan. I might, actu might not uh, actually need to send uh, all the guys I thought I did. I only have 53. All right, let's let's get this force formed. Let's see how it'll look with these six. Let's see how the numbers shake out. So, Luke Sun's got to take the lead with the most troops. I mean, that's a given. Actually, here's the thing. Morale's gonna suffer. So. Let's see if I can teach him a uh, rally or... Oh, are you serious? We don't have one tome. Okay. Let's go down the list. see it none of these guys have anything that improves morale so see I wanted to send at least one person who can keep morale keep spirits up while we're marching over there These guys have rally and my top guys don't. Jin Dao has rally. Oh, this is an, an embarrassment. All these guys who are just mediocre don't have it. Madai has rally. Maybe Madai, I could send him up there, I guess. But see, he can help with catapult work. Oh man, this is uh, this is just not good. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We've got six officers that have rallied right now. Besides our main guys that are deployed, but I'm not going to break up the force, the four horsemen corps. Those guys are going to keep working against uh, Machao. Let's check out the formations. Okay, Feng Xi has snake. Feng Xi or Cheng Dao? It's looking like one of these two. Dao's probably got a title. Feng Xi's just hanging around though. He has Snake, he'll be able to run around. Alright, Feng Xi it is. We're gonna have to call him, like I said, I'm gonna need somebody I'm gonna need somebody to keep morale high, just keep popping like rally. I really thought I had a tome, or I would have, uh. 
I would have already handled that. I, can't, I still can't believe I missed that somehow. What a what an oversight. And this will be my second time marching up there. The first time I marched was uh I think it was my very first playthrough on the, on uh, the YouTube channel. I think I have it under a playlist there. You guys can check it out. It's um the 184 or 186 scenario. And I marched from I marched from Yin Yang over towards ending. So I went like this, came down, came this way, painted the course, ignored Chang An, and I had supply it was a supply nightmare. It was my first playthrough, so I was pretty pretty unprepared for the journey. So hopefully this time it goes a lot better. I don't know. I mean hopefully. We have a guy drilling? No, let's get a guy drilling over here. We're going to have to summon uh, somebody back from Chang'e, because now I've got too many guys up there. So, let's see, who do we recall? I'm thinking probably Liao Hua, even though he's a Mountain Warlord. Zhang Yang? No, he's a Mountain Warlord too. I guess Tian Yu. You know, Liao Hua and Zhang Yang are both mountain warlords. We could they'll get a small bonus because they'll be fighting up there, so we'll recall Tian Yu, we'll have him. Let's get to recruiting right away. Was one a turn? Wow, that's, that's pretty bad. You know what? I'm gonna put him over here. We'll put Man Kong on the outserts because he'll be better at it at least. Plus five, yeah. Jeez, plus one. It's brutal. Plus two is really bad for conquer land, but at least you know what I mean. <laughs> One is, you know, obviously the bottom of the barrel, so that feels the worst. Okay, did we transfer any supplies over here? Uh, yeah, maybe some food. Maybe some grub. We did win the battle, so let's send them some, uh, send them the, the beer. Send the soldiers the beer since they won the battle. Okay, I think that's good. Let's just do a search. I don't remember if I gave away my child's mount or not. Oh, it took too long. Jeez. I, I like panicked and I clicked X twice. So I lost my moment to do my tactics. So this is what I'm talking about. I, I mess it up all the time. I could have at least gotten attacked it off uh, there against them, but... Totally panicked. Uh, I don't really want to release uh, Ma Liang. I'd like to recruit him, so... I'll let go of Taishi Tsi. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Thank goodness he wiped them out. Gotta get those Outlander forces out as fast as possible because they will run you over. 
9,000 in Crane. Prisoner Yu Fan has been released from Ma Chao's unit. So Yun's on the way, but I don't. I guess he's gonna. He can wreck uh, Meng Da when he gets there. Alright, we're waiting for Feng Xi to arrive. It's just fine. In the meantime, these bandits are just messing up his day. At this, actually, I'm gonna have to be careful here because of these damn bandits. If I take it and I'm advancing forward, we could be caught in the same situation. And it's happened to me advancing into Shu. My uh, Liu Kui playthrough almost fell apart because as I was advancing into Shu, I had bandits spawn and cut off my supplies and just harass my siege weapons, and it was it was a bad time. It was a bad time for everybody involved. So I'm gonna have to try to be conscious of that. Alright, so we have somebody over each territory, and I still... Wow. 16 officers here. I've only got 8 here, but again, it's a small city. I really need to keep expanding. Wait till November, and then I'll send out more troops. Let's try Estranged. He seems like a good pick. Hmm, Cheng Dao, really? Alright. And for the last one, let's try the... Let's try the pirate. Hang data, go do that. Well, he's right there, okay. It works. Reinforce Su Huang. Um, I guess. Although it's soon say, I don't think he's in any danger of his tactic, but I don't want to. Got to be careful, so. Oh, it's withdrawing. Okay. Maybe because Molly Yang's intelligence is high. I don't know. Doesn't explain the pirate, but. Okay, I'd say that camp is. Built up well enough. Let's attack this guy. Thanks. See, okay, he's arrived. Hmm. Only three thousand soldiers. So we need more than that. Seven thousand. Yeah. Guess that'll work. Well, this is going to be a little weird because I'm probably going to have to assign him as an agenda.
Okay, so looks on 12. At least 10. To get Snake 2 so he can maneuver around. And that leaves uh, just the Hua who would actually want to give the full 6 to. So that leaves 3,000 back. Um, you really should just empty the city. There's no reason to hold anybody back. Okay, so let's look over the tactics of so fish. I think so, because Goose is going to be... Yeah, it might be atrociously slow. Disorder, calm. Yep. Okay, that seems good. Alright, so we'll need to take the port. And then we'll just start snaking our way through. I think I'll have to leave two officers. I think I'll, I might have to leave a guy here. And then I'll have to leave a guy here to guard Who Gate. And then the rest of the force will go on. So we, we kind of have to cover our supply line. Which is what I like about these long marches. I like those... Like those long kind of it's it's hard to put like almost like long like a long campaign essentially where you have a long baggage train that you have to cover so you have to account for stuff like that I kind of wish there was more opportunities to do attacks like this because they're kind of, it's kind of cool to be like okay can I do it can I pull that off or not and how do I keep the numbers, how do I keep the damage numbers as low as possible while doing it and all that? Oof, everybody's holding strong at 100. Maybe Malian will still come over, but... Maybe this guy, I'm not familiar with him, so... Maybe he's not a Wu loyalist. She's obviously a Wu loyalist. Uh, so are the other two guys. Okay, so while they're doing that, I need to start thinking about expanding east over here on the home front here. I need some more uh, troops. So I need to start gathering more troops. going oh I gave him advance not attack okay okay so we'll target him with lone horseman it's gonna wreck that guy's unit okay he's taking a weird route That's not a recruiter, is it? It is. Damn it. Well, it's 28. It's the same thing. Okay.
Okay, let's check the loyalties of our prisoner, see if it's dropped at all. Nope. Tian Yu's back at one, I'm assuming. I was kind of hoping Liu Biao would march, but he's not. He's so overly defensive. It's ridiculous. Wow, 11,000. Now that's a committed attack. It was all a blunder. He's actually holding his own. Okay, so we've got 10,000 in Runan. Transport still mm, at least two turns away. What formation is he in? I think he's in Snake also. I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter, but... I'm just gonna have Liao Hua wait there. He's only got eight. He's only got six thousand. Sam Yang's got eight. Yeah, I guess he can get. He can go ahead. So we might leave. No, because he's a mountain warlord. What's the point then? They both are. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to leave Liao Hua or Zhang Yang back. Cover our supply line. Although I don't want to, but again, bandits could just as easily spawn for me as it has been for uh, Yuan Tan, and they probably are going to spawn. Let's just do a search because there's not too much to do except wait for the troops to get recruited right now. Far along his way on, almost here. Let's move back one hex so we can both attack. Soon say it's just going to keep sending out units, which is just fine by me. Formation. Oh, we're gonna be there and there. You know, maybe Goose, but Goose is so damn slow. I guess he can stand there. Persian Cavalry. That's got to be the one that I was saying earlier in the playthrough that I thought was the uh, gives the bonus to all formation. I think that's it. It's a really, it really is a garbage tech. They missed such a huge opportunity with the text. They could have made them very unique. You know, I don't, I don't know if they played it safe or if it was. If it was just laziness. Sometimes it's really hard to tell with Koei because they'll have like, not all the time, but sometimes they'll have an idea that's really like, wow, that's a great idea. 
kind of like how dealing with nations outside of China sounded on the surface where you're like wow that's an amazing idea slash it's about time but then you get some of these technologies that you acquire from them and they're so they're just they feel so phoned in and it's just like it's confusing because it's like are you guys trying or not I don't understand they end up feeling like gimmicks like like I said, Persian Cavalry. There's another one too that you get for the uh, trading with the uh, nation that you get from Shu, from being in Shu, Chengdu. That's only applicable to like three officers. I think it works really well with Tsuge Liang. But it's very, very, very gimmicky. Oh, he knocked them out right away. And then he advances, and then we hit him with Lone Horseman. Those, get those troop numbers down right away. I'll we'll probably get a duel here. Okay, looks like he's rushing to defend over there. He's definitely going to lose all that territory between my pressure and then everyone else joining in. Oh, I broke out. Alright. No big loss. Holding our own against them. I don't know if Sensei is going to hold this. He's double two armies marching against him, although they'll probably fight each other. That's one thing I'm hoping that uh, Romance 13 has a bit more diplomacy between AI forces so they're maybe they're a little bit more coordinated oh, this transport's just getting there now wow that's that's painful all right so long you're the first one to make landfall so we have the honors. Okay. See if we get the duel. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, well now, since we have all these guys here, can we just... Madai's here. Okay, let's deploy Madai with like a catapult. And, uh... Just to give him some trouble, let's go and put some pressure on, uh... Shoshun. See, let's get ourselves set up up there. Let's put a camp up right on the, f pointing towards the south if we can. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll work right there.
Yeah, I'll do it. Let's see. Zeng Shu is in no condition to attack, which is great. He probably doesn't have an economy either. Nope. Two thousand gold and six. He's having the Liu Bei problem. You know, I'm sure everybody's tried playing the three visits. Um, just to recreate it because it is such a really iconic scenario and it's a lot of fun depending on what time period or should I say what romance game you're playing some of them really flesh out the three visits and some of them don't but most of the ROTKs do I haven't actually tried it in this one at least I don't think I have because I've played it a lot I used to try that scenario a lot back in the day so I think I might have tried it on hard in base game actually at launch just to see because it's a it's a lot of fun to pick Liu Bei and try to hold off you know South Tsao's armies while you search for your strategist you know just recreate that storyline but the problem is that Xinye is just not sustainable as, as a city but where it's you know the only city that you have is just not sustainable it's so few territories. It's such a small city. And that's what this guy's going through. Liu Bei's starting point. He's got very little economy. Ooh, the catapult's exposed. That's not good. Only exposed the ring formation though, so that's really fortunate. I think that was one of the problems with Dong Si actually. He's got pretty nice war ability from what I remember. But it's his uh his formations are weird, man. 85 strength. Doesn't have dual triggers. I thought he had heroic, but he didn't. And then, yeah, his formations are bizarre. Ring formation and snake. And keep in mind, this is a, a Wu officer. At least he has train, train engineers, but in Sun Tse's force, every other officer has train engineers. So it's kind of a waste. But, yeah, this is one of those guys that's pretty solid, but gets buried in the depth chart. You know, because his one good thing, train engineers... He's in, the, he's in a force that's loaded with it, so it loses value, and then strength is high, but no heroic. And his formations are weird, man. Ring formation and snake formation? It's, it's, it's bizarre. Bizarre combination. Not bad. I mean, you could, you know... They're just very... They're both kind of corner case formations where you have to work a little bit to use them, you know, to their max capabilities. And then when you consider where Sun is at, it's like, it's just strange. I guess you could use Snake, maybe, but why would you? You know, you're if you already have Jian Dong, Snake is... Uh, Maybe down here you can use it a lot. I don't know. It's just weird. It's, it's a strange. Uh... I don't think I need any orders. We're just gonna keep searching. Okay, great. Let's start. Okay, so what I'm thinking to do. Probably gonna leave uh have Liao Hua put up some arrow towers here because we're gonna get bandits. So he's gonna stay behind and everyone else will just keep marching. We'll just go around this way. I could send Zhang Yang this way with this snake formation, but I think it's gonna be better to bottle up Hu Gate so that there's no reinforcements coming from Ye. He's got 17k there, so. Guan Ping, right? He's got a really cool fucking portrait in this game.
very, it's like a no nonsense. Dong Chang is thriving. <laughs> Something I never thought I'd say, but he is. Okay, he wants all these officers. I will give them all to him for the art of war. Wow, I said no. I would have given it up for sure. Alright, he's got 16, so he might actually deploy. I don't know. Oh shit, they're all gonna break out eventually, aren't they? Oh, he's got 8,000. Still got wounded troops. Nobody training here? Odai is supposed to be, but he's deployed. What does who gate cover? Ooh. Okay. I'm very glad I checked that. So who gate would actually cut me off? Uh, given enough time, if I get stalled. So I think we're gonna go this way, because I can at least cover the course. So let's see, let's take this one, let's go like that. Maybe I can have uh, Zhang Yang go the other way. Let's see. Yeah, maybe just Zhang Yang can for some shenanigans over here, but it seems like who gate can easily just can get cut off here. Actually, let me put another arrow tower around here. Um, let's see, he's putting one there. I guess I'll put one over here. That cord might not be too important. How did I see that? Recruit officer. Oh, it's a new year, right? Not familiar with this guy, but he seems pretty good. Holy shit. Okay, not bad. And Siang, okay, I know him. Ooh, he's kind of nerfed. He's not as strong as he used to be. He used to have a higher strength. Okay, two new officers. Cool. We need to search this turn. Let's see, what's Maliang's? Uh... Oh, is he gone? That's, that's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, now he's deploying. Yeah, let's get a strong front. Sunsei is definitely going to contest this attack, which is fine. Just keep slowly whittling, whittling away his numbers. Hmm. 
ままでは一振りの槍となって戦場を貫かんプロへかかれ。おお、デュオ、オーライト。Go well for Cheng Pu. You know, when you have your own Dynasty Warriors model in this game. Oh, wow, single strike. Better hope he didn't capture him. Killed. What? Zhao Yun. The dragon of Changsha. I guess we know who our horseman of death is. Of the four horsemen I have, Zhao Yun's just been promoted to horseman of death. Holy shit. Just wiped out Cheng Pu. Okay. Alright, guys, with that, we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna end it there. Um, like I said, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Uh, <laughs> I know I am. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, make sure, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel Archive Gaming on YouTube. And uh, yeah, be on the lookout for some more ROTK 14 and some ROTK 13 soon. Until next video, guys, take care.